So, uh, uh, so a big part of what we're here doing tonight as well is to raise money for that very old sign. Uh, so um, over the years, it falls into some disrepair, and uh, so we're here helping to raise money to, uh, to do that. So by being, just being here tonight, being a part of all this, you're helping to continue this legacy of the theater. So when you first came in, just a couple of quick uh, things. There was uh, some silent auction items of uh, people that you may know around the uh, uh, Kentucky Music Highway. Mr. Ricky Skaggs, Winona Judd, uh, Chris Stapleton has a vinyl out there, autographed. All his autographed merch and stuff is available at a silent auction back there. So in between some of the bands and whatnot, when you get a chance, go back there, uh, throw down some money, help us uh, keep this sign repaired, and help us keep this whole place going. Um, another quick thing, uh, it's a special night, we're here to do a lot of celebrating, and there are some people that chose to celebrate with us, we have a couple of birthdays actually, we have a 20 year old Kaylee Sharp. <laughs> and a Miss Betty Hunt, who is here celebrating her 88th birthday. <laughs> this whole, uh, we'll say multi-generational, Thing is, it's what all this is about. It's what the Paramount is about. And having you all here to support us, some of our biggest supporters, people that really made uh, tonight on this stage happen, is our friends at Clark's Pump and Shop and at Kentucky Music Highway 23. So without them believing in music and what it does for communities and the impact it can have on the arts and the culture and the people, our people, people like us are happy to live here, uh, without them contributing, we don't get to do a lot of this stuff. So we cannot thank you guys enough. Um, that's it enough for me for now. You'll see me plenty tonight. I got my cheat sheet up here, and uh, you'll be sick of me before this is all done. Um, but uh, yeah, so starting us off just a minute ago, we're right here with Mr. Devin Neal. He's going to keep going. He is from Ashland, Kentucky. Take it away, Mr. Neal. <laughs>
Thank you very much. That's a, that's a little bit of rock and roll for you. And this ain't rock and roll. We're going to get country. We got a lot of great, awesome singers for you guys tonight. This uh, highway, country music highway, uh, Wow, I think growing up, but uh, what being born and raised along 23 meant to me was um, less of, uh, I, don't, I don't know, it's inspiring that so many people from around here could, could make it out there where other people hear our music. That's always around here. I think we all grow up in church singing, whatever it is. I don't know if it's in the water, I'm not sure, but uh, Appalachian, Kentucky and up and down Route 23 is to produce some incredible action. God bless Keith Whitley. It's the Keith Whitley song. Everybody talks about the California quakes. First time I ever felt the earth shake was in Miami. When Amy touched me, oh, it shook me. I tore around the wonder and I wanted to stay. But she said, Be sure, and I'll call you in LA. But even in a taxi, I can hear my telephone ring.
when she was performing at a sold out show with her great aunt. Her great aunt is none other than Miss Loretta Lynn. See, please welcome to the stage Miss Sarah McCourt.
on Highway 23 is a road that is still being paved. And recently, I don't know how it is, kind of recent, some of our really, really good friends got them a, got a big road sign out there. You guys are familiar with Sunday Best? We're going to play you a big Sunday Best tune.
Just trying to help a friend out I'm just trying
this fellow here to tell you about this next song. He's going to sing it for you. And uh, it's a really good gospel number. And Rick is the pastor of Community Fellowship Church of Louisa, Kentucky. And got a great story to tell. About the greatest story ever told. Yeah. This, this song really got a hold of me one time because it talks about worship. One of the things we do at ARC is we bring people in and introduce them to someone that's higher than themselves. Because if you don't have anyone higher than yourself, then you've got nothing, nobody to worship but yourself. But when I first heard this song, it was a song that said, Shout to the Lord. And I heard it uh, just one early one morning. And I live out on an old farm up in Lawrence County, and I sat down on the porch. And all of a sudden, I heard, it was just starting to break daylight, and I heard the birds start singing. And then all of a sudden, I heard a turkey gobble up on the hill. And I looked down in the holler, and I saw some animals coming out of the woods, and they was just bouncing around, and they were the little foxes barking, and they were just having the biggest time ever was. And I thought, here these animals are, worshiping God, because that's what they do. And I thought, man, it would, wouldn't it be something if people would just do that? If we would just worship God. And so this song is just special to me that way. It's called Shout to the Lord.
that uh, I didn't know he was going to be here tonight playing music, and I'm going to invite him to come out and sit in with us on these last three numbers. One of the world's best guitar players. He's from Canal County, West Virginia. We won't hold that against him here in East Kentucky. His name is Robert Schaefer. Would you please make him welcome? He's a phenomenal musician. Let him get, let him get hooked up here. He's a national flat picking uh, guitar champion. <laughs> And then he can play the stew out of a Telecaster. And he said, well, I didn't bring my Telecaster today. And I said, it's all right. Whatever you got will be just fine. But uh, we're celebrating artists from the Country Music Highway. That's my understanding. And we're going to do a couple things here from the great Ricky Skaggs. Uh, this one here is uh, Ricky's first number one record uh, on Epic uh, back in the 1980s. Think about 1982, if I'm not mistaken. I was only about three years old then. It's called Crying My Heart Out Over You. Song for me, Larry. 
And Larry said, I'd like to thank you because man, that bought my whole van. <laughs> but uh, it's a really good song, probably one of my favorites. And you know, told here on the banjo. Let me introduce him to you here real quick. Five string banjo and fiddle here tonight. Jonathan Clay Richard.
and not get sick of it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it one more time for Tom Rigsby and Bill Hunter. Absolute legends on here with us tonight. Uh, up next, we have another uh, local gal with us. She hails from Catlettsburg, Kentucky, just uh, uh, down the road, just down Highway 23. Uh, she is about to release uh, some footage of her performance here live at the Paramount on New Year's Eve. You may have seen her here. You certainly saw and voted for her on The Voice. Oh yeah. We've got Miss Holly Flores. Songs. He's one of my favorite songwriters, and this is one of my favorite songs of his. I grew up in Kentucky, going to church on Sunday, and I think the words of the song just like paint such a beautiful picture. So. Bottle on the dress of my own brain, and it's. 
once again, Holly Forbes, y'all. It's been truly overwhelming for me in the back with so much talent and the pride I feel uh, in this theater, in this community, and the entirety of Highway uh, 23 and the music here. Um, so as you all know, you know uh, Holly Forbes from The Voice. We have uh, a ton of talent from here, and it's awesome that we're finally uh, getting a lot of that recognition, especially on a national uh, platform like something like that. But have you all been watching much American Idol? <laughs> There happens to be a young man from this region named yeah. Noah Thompson, you heard that? How would you feel if I told you he was right there? Yeah. Representing this whole area so well, so we can't thank you enough for coming out here. And uh, you know, we'll uh, I'll let you guys know he's not performing tonight. He has been told. I'm sorry. I wanted you next to me when I told him so that they could you too. So how dare you want to know it, right? He's trying to rest the vocals. He's got to rest the vocals. Go watch him on TV, and then guess what? We're gonna have him here. How can we not? Wait, it's just not. Next time he's here, he'll be on the stage performing for y'all. He came out with you to support what we're doing here, to support the Paramount. No, we can't thank you enough. This is what it's all about. Y'all, we're... I have more bad news. We're... We've only got one more. But... But he's... He's a good y'all. I'm gonna let you on that. Really quick, just to clean it up, we still have that silent auction going in the back. Things from Chris Stapleton, Wynonna, Ricky Skaggs, people you've heard uh, singing their songs here tonight. They have donated things, been a part of a silent auction back there to help raise money for this, to keep this tradition alive. Now, we have up next a man by the name of Rob McNerd. Rob, I'm a bigger fan than you realize. We've been hanging out back there. I, and I have a bone to pick with Rob because a few minutes ago, he told me, you know what I should have done was I should have brought out another jacket for you to wear as you're introducing me. <laughs> and so I'll, I'll forever know that I was this close to wearing I mean, next, like, time. next time. Next time. Yeah. I was this close to being even half as shiny as Rob McNerlin. <laughs> so if, for those of you who don't know, just a quick summary here. I want to make sure I get this right. He's raised in Eastern Kentucky. He's, he's, a, he's a local boy. Raised in the hymns in church. He raised watching people like. Uh, like yes, sir. <laughs> raised, seeing people like Johnny Cash on TV. He's given a harmonica by his grandmother, and it's all gone from there. He later went on to record a CD in Johnny Cash's cabin studio. And uh, he comes to you tonight after having uh, nine CDs under his belt, and who knows how many in his jacket. <laughs> Can't tell you how happy I am to introduce Mr. Rock and Roll. In the 
this Highway 23 Jamboree right here at the Paramount. Some of you guys may remember that. Thank you. <laughs> and so we would come out and play a bunch of songs, and then we would always have some big name, a Nashville act, and we had everybody you can name just about. But a couple of times we had Marty Stewart here, and uh, one time he brought this 1939 uh, Martin D45 guitar. And I knew the guitar from uh, seeing it on Johnny Cash album covers and the Johnny Cash TV show when I was a kid. And Marty let me play the guitar that night, and it was like right here, actually right here. <laughs> and uh, I just, it was an honor to play the guitar, and that night I went home and wrote a love song to that particular guitar. And so we're going to do that one for you now. Oh. 